Many years ago, a monolith was discovered on Mars, referred to as the Mars monolith in Wikipedia. And at the same time that story broke, the Phobos monolith was also discovered. My friend Brian Dobbs in the US suggested I have a look at these two monoliths in this video presentation. He's also the producer, director and writer of the documentary Blue Planet Red. Visit his YouTube channel. There are many interesting interviews there, folks. I'll include the link to his YouTube channel in the video description. The Mars monolith even features in Wikipedia. It's the object right there, folks. We'll have a look at the original source material and we'll have an ultra close-up, high-definition look at that monolith, as well as the one on Phobos. The monolith on Mars was discovered in this high-rise photograph, and all credit goes to the researcher that discovered this anomaly, as well as the one on Phobos. I didn't make these discoveries myself, folks. The photograph is called Boulders and Layers in Canyon. Acquired on the 24th of July 2008 at a resolution of 26.4 centimeters per pixel. I'll be showing you the image I cropped from the huge JP2 black and white map projected file. And there's a look at a clip from the low resolution black and white photograph. And we'll be zooming in on the area right there. The site we're analysing is located at roughly 7 degrees 8 minutes south, 92 degrees 44 minutes west. We'll have a look at some of the other anomalies I discovered close to this area as well towards the end of the video. He has a cropped image from the JP2 photograph and we'll be zooming in on the item right there. According to the scale indicator that NASA provides for this photograph, this anomaly measures approximately 5 meters wide by about 3 to 5 meters tall. And he has a close-up look zoomed in four times. And now I've rotated it 90 degrees so that it aligns with the monolith as it features in many articles and Wikipedia. That's a very interesting anomaly, folks. So the angle that this was taken at, I'm not quite sure whether this is more like a rhombic shape or a rectangular shape. But anyway, it's a very intriguing object, folks. Has a uniform width to it as well, and it's symmetrical. Costs a neat shadow there as well. Yeah, we are zoomed in ultra close. Check this out. All credit to the researcher that discovered this one originally. The Phobos monolith was photographed by the MOC camera on board the Mars Global Surveyor. There's the original photograph downloaded from the NASA site. And we'll be zooming in on this spot right there. You can see the bright object and the shadow it casts. Right, here we are at actual size, one to one scale. And the object over there measures approximately 35 to 38 meters wide. Now we are zoomed in four times original size. And it's got a strange sort of shield-like appearance to it. Very odd. So, Buzz Aldrin also spoke of this item folks so what does he know that we don't know it's very interesting 
So why are these monoliths on Mars and why is there one on Phobos? Could these be markers of an ancient civilization that once thrived in our solar system? The anomalies I've discovered on Mars are very similar to anomalies that we find here on Earth at ancient megalithic ruins and sites. Also, as you know, I've discovered many huge pyramids on Mars too. And I've actually suggested that that is one of the top anomalies to investigate first, should we ever send humans to Mars. Let's go check out those huge pyramids that are discovered in Elysium Planitia. With all the breaking news of these possible structures underneath the Khafre Pyramid in Giza, Egypt, I think going to check out these pyramids on Mars will be exciting and very intriguing. Also, Total Recall, the movie, features that huge pyramid as well. So, hidden history, ancient knowledge that's being kept from us, who knows, folks? Right, let's head down to that site and here's the photograph we analyzed boulders and layers in canyon and a brief look at those two monoliths one on Mars and then the huge one on Phobos let's have a look at other anomalies in this region of Mars. This is where I found this possible collapsed structure. You can see similar size and shape slabs, rectangular openings spaced evenly apart on the one side and then it appears the roof has collapsed in on itself. Right, and this is also where we find this strange circular object, the long trench behind it, it's about 8 meters across, and many have suggested this is just a circular dune formation, others have suggested this is a circular object like a craft or something that crashed there that came in at a very low angle very low trajectory made that long trench and then came to a standstill over there and it got covered in sand and dust and then the strange quarry like anomaly is located here folks this was photographed by the European Space Agency. It's got a nice rectangular opening to it. And it looks like dark liquid seeped up to the surface, ran down the slope and then pooled over there on the floor. Let's have a chat in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts, your opinion and your analysis as to what these objects might be and why they are on Mars and why is there one on Phobos. As always, thanks for watching.